Mercy ACO was founded in uh, 2012 uh, for purposes of the Medicare Shared Savings Program as well as a commercial program here in the state. Um, since 2012, it's grown rapidly across the state to roughly two-thirds of Iowa's 99 counties. Uh, today we operate roughly 17 value-based agreements as well as participate in a joint venture. Mercy Health Network uh, roughly sees about a million patients uh, throughout our network. So the network is using dozens of systems. Because we have so many different systems, we, could, we couldn't see the data. So needed a really good user interface that the non-IT data analytic people could use and really do good work. Um, if you find some good insights, the next trick is how do I push it out so that I can then communicate that out. So having good visualizations, dashboards, ability to display data, it's really key. And so what we seen initially from that, uh, our, our early analytics was, you know, it's in the hundreds of millions of dollars uh, that we're losing year over year. We had confidence in, in their ability to aggregate data, which to us was the key skill we needed. And we weren't convinced that the other partners that we were talking to and getting information on had that ability to the same degree that Innovacer did. So I think just from an analytics standpoint, we can pretty much run any analysis we want on our population. We pretty much have the full set of EMR data. Um, I can track claims and billing. So we can do pretty much now have a data product where I can take a pretty deep dive at my patients across the entire network. Because before I maybe just knew them for this hospital lens, now I know if they go to any of my other clinics or hospitals. So from a strategy care management standpoint, we've got this full view of the patient now. Um, we can be much more precise and quicker to react. We get nightly admission and discharge notifications. So we know when our patients have been admitted, we know that when they've been discharged, um, so it allows us to react a lot more quickly. So not only do we know more, we know faster, um, we, we, should, we work it more efficiently as well because we're able to push that work quickly. We have roughly 480 million records of data and information uh, that we're bringing in from claims as well as our internal records and systems. Uh, so in terms of the volume of data, uh, we're mapping on those 1 million patients that are going through our system uh, through, on an annualized basis. Innovacer will allow us to measure how we're doing in real time, is what I anticipate. Right now, we're, we're able to measure how we're doing four to five months later when all the claims come in. But I, I think uh, going forward, as we submit claims, we're gonna be able to start tracking those in Innovacer. We're identifying more uh, financial opportunities long-term um, to right-size our organization and look for opportunities to um, drive down costs in future years. I think for the future of care management, I see Innovacer continuing to really provide um, a great data solution. You know, bringing good, intelligent technology to bring lots of data together, and then using all the insights they've gained from working with clients like us to really understanding the best way to treat patients.